Thanks for joining me today while I share how I created this greeting card. If you purchase the suite of the month for January 2021, which is the snail mail suite, you would have received this greeting card kit in your mailbox along with the second one. So go to my YouTube channel to see the second design that was included in your make and take kit. So the suite of the month, like I said, features the snail mail suite and this is the stamp set. And today I only use the sentiment stamps in my design. Oh, and actually the little circle. So with this word bubble, there is a little bonus circle and you can make polka dots with that. So we did that today. So let's get started. So my base is Blushing Bride and I'm gonna leave it shut. I've already got it scored. And I did four dots across the top and three right next to it, kind of creating a little pattern. And then on the bottom, I just did three dots. And why don't I do four this time? You can see if you like which, which design a little better. All right, my next step would be to find my inside piece, which is my one six of an eight and a half by 11. And I'm gonna stamp, you snailed it inside. So this is my inside. Oh, and I've got some dots to do at the top there. So if you got one of these kits in the mail, make and take kits for me, go ahead and pause this video as you need to so you can keep up with me. I will just whip through my steps here. All right, so next step would be to fold that in half and press along the score line with your bone folder. All right, other things that we will need to stamp. If you open up your little, your little envelope, we've got a little message inside. And it's just a hello. And then on the back of the card, I also stamped. So there is this fun little happy mail enclosed stamp. Put that on the back of my card. And then I'm also going to put that on the back of the envelope, just like a old fashioned wax seal. Okay, I think I am done with my stamping so I can get my ink pad out of the way. And we can go through some of the other pieces that I've got on my table here. All right, I'm going to start assembling. That way I get rid of a few pieces along the way. This will go on the inside. Oh, this little thing. So let's just, let's me, let me describe that to you. This pattern paper, the designer series paper pattern, you use a framelit to cut that out. So let's go through all the framelits that I used. Use the framelit to cut that out. The little red hearts have a framelit as well. This little snail does not have a framelit, so I fussy cut that out. So let's just do that while I'm talking here. So this is this little snail's on the paper pack that this snail is on. So it was just potentially going to get thrown away. So I decided I would fussy cut around it and use it. This snail's got little fun lashes. You'll see the little fun lashes. All right. And then after I fussy cut it out, I still had some more. So I cut out some of the hearts. So I got a red heart and I also have one of these hearts right there. All right, other framelits that I used from this set would be the little envelope. So I die cut a vellum envelope and then I just used a scrap of Whisper White and cut off, cut my little message right there. So those are all the framelits I used from the snail dies. So let me get those out of the way. 
And these magnetic sheets are just uh, magnetic covers. My Stampin' Friend Kay gave me a whole bunch. So they're magnetic um, heating covers. And she cut them down and she gave me some extras that she had. Okay, so let's start to get assembling here. This is gonna be the inside. So this one's die cut. So here's where you're gonna have to stop the video and die cut all your shapes. This is a heart, so we're gonna use a glue dot to stick this down. Right there. Slip it to the back so I can see what fun things I did back there. So the one that I just fussy cut, we'll use two glue dots. But we stick that right there. That way that snail is looking towards the stamp and not the other way. So to balance it out on this side, get your stamp and write marker, find the fine tip and sign your card so they know you took the time to make it. Then before you put your marker away, use your fat tip and just make that little heart red. Just a fun little detail right there. Okay, so flip that shut, and now we can work on the outside a little bit. So my outside, this is so saffron. Now the paper pack on the back of the package says it coordinates with Daffa Delight, but I thought it co also coordinated with uh, so saffron. This is a warmer color. Kind of looks like crushed curry to me, but um, Daffa Delight didn't quite go with this shade. So... Def, or the so saffron mat over a piece of the pattern paper. So my so saffron mat is four inches by three and a half inches or 10 by two by 8.8. .8. So my, my um, measurements will work for metric or imperial. Uh, the imp uh, metric, you'll just have a taller card and maybe another row of polka dots peeking out. Okay, so put that over there. Now my sample card, I used the white baker's twine. I'm going to use the blushing bride baker's twine. So a trick, oops. There we go. I pressed down a little too hard there. I'm used to, I'm still used to my snail, not my snail, my fast views. And so I tend to press harder than I need to. All right, so what I wanted to do was get some adhesive on the back side, so I had a place to anchor that. Whoops, don't want, to, don't want that to go on the floor because it will unwind. And then I just wrapped it around three times. So usually when I wrap three times, I do a cross and then I do a straight, straight, Baker's twine all the way across. I think that's a pleasing design to me. So two of the threads make a cross and then one just goes straight across on the top or the bottom. So in the sample card, I've got the straight across on the bottom there. Okay, so now that I've got the Baker's twine over the adhesive, just to make sure that that Baker's twine corner stays adhered to the card. We're gonna put a little bit of tear and tape over that. And then flip that over. And press down. All right, I've got a little vellum envelope here. So it's vellum, it's pretty stiff. I'm gonna grab my bone folder. And I will crisp up those score marks. I do that one right there. Let's get it started while I can see it before I put it down on my mat. There. And then crisp them up, otherwise they will pop up on you. There. All right. So I didn't like just the vellum on the card. I liked a little bit of a backer there. So we see 
a little bit of a matte on that envelope. So the Blushing Bride measures uh, 1.75 inches by 1.25 or 4.5 inches by, or centimeters, 4.5 by 3.2 centimeters. So just put one run of adhesive over that and just center that on the base. All right. And then one run of adhesive right there. Yeah, I'm using the Stampin' Sew Plus. I think I go back and forth. I use a Stampin' Sew Plus. And then I, where do I want this? And then I um, go back to the Stampin' Sew. So the Stampin' Sew Plus has got super hold on it. So I need to remember when I switch between the two, I got to back off a little bit of my pressure. Now I did not adhere this down. That's because it's vellum, but I'm just going to use one of those hearts I cut off from that scrap to secure it all down for me. Okay, next up, I have cut an additional envelope in this pattern. It's got the postage stamp on one side and then the... Um, yellow and smaller graphic images and I cut it around so that the heart and the gift was right there. So this one I did just use a glue dot to secure down. And I placed the glue dot over the flap, over both of the flaps opposing flaps and then press the bottom flap up and that will secure that min little mini envelope. All right, now I should have some more hearts. Look in here. I think I might have to step away and get another heart. Hang on a second. Okay, I've got another die cut heart. And I just wanted to put a little hard on the inside message. Now I'm not going to include a piece of this blushing bride here. What happened was I automatically put some adhesive over it, thinking I would tack it down somewhere, not thinking that it's just gonna get slipped in the envelope. So I had to cover that up. So I kind of like that on the back side, but for the sample we're doing right now, we're not gonna put any in there. So you just tuck it in. And there you go. So here is the sample card using the white heart and the white string. And then this card uses the uh, opposite side of the white, the blushing bride with the little squirrelies and then the blushing bride twine. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you like the white heart and white, ba white baker's twine or the blushing bride heart and the blushing bride baker's twine. And then here is the envelope. So, so thanks for watching. This is the first of my two designs featuring the snail mail bundle. If you want more information about my Sweet of the Month program, go to my blog at superawesomestamper.com and click on Sweet of the Month. All the details and all of the bundles and sweets that are, will be featured through May are on my blog. I hope you enjoyed my snailed it card. To see my other design, go to my playlist on my YouTube. That is the Sweet of the Month playlist. All right, thanks for watching. This is super awesome. Stamper Shirley. Bye.